again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 25th of January, 2019. Interesting article. You can attach the link. You're not going to have to look for it. Written by Tom Clude. That's K-L-U-D-T, CNN Business. Huff Post layoffs underway a day after Verizon announced cuts. Parent company Verizon announced a 7% staff cuts. Hmm. Now this is after they saved billions of dollars thanks to Trump's generous kickback program to corporations. They literally saved billions of dollars and now they're blowing off 7% of their staff. Some employees at HuffPost learned Thursday morning that their days in the newsroom are numbered as layoffs hit the popular news website. A spokesperson for HuffPost said the site is investing in talents and resources to areas that have high audience engagement, differentiation, and are posed for growth at a time when our mission means more than ever. We are deeply committed to quality journalism that reflects what matters most to our diverse audience across the globe, the spokesperson says. No, you're just committed to profits, period. It's a significant setback for the progressive news website, the pioneer of the digital media landscape, which has become far less hospitable than it was in 2005 when HuffPost launched as the Huffington Post. Now, economic headwinds are hitting newsrooms across the industry, affecting one bullish digital shops and long-standing newspapers alike. Hmm. Wednesday served as a harbinger of what's in store for the industry, with HuffPost parent company Verizon announcing a 7% cut to staff in its media division. Our portfolio that also includes Yahoo and AOL, with an hours of that news breaking, BuzzFeed confirmed that it will lay off 15% of its staff. And journalists at Gannett, the nation's largest newspaper chain, shared grim stories throughout the day on Wednesday as the company shed dozens of staffers throughout the country. In all, the media lost about 1,000 jobs nationwide this week. At HuffPost, the layoffs were set in motion Thursday morning. The site itself reported that employees began receiving calendar invitations to meet with human resources that day. The cuts come a month after Verizon announced it was taking a $4.6 billion write-down on Oath, a movie that left it with a value of just $200 million. Oath changed its name to Verizon Media this month. Our goal is to create the best experience for our customers and the best platform for our customers, a Verizon Media spokesperson said in a statement. Today marks a strategic step toward better execution of our plans for growth and innovation into the future. The layoffs will affect about 800 employees, though it is unclear how the cuts will be distributed across the Verizon Media. On Thursday, some HuffPost employees who had been let go began sharing their stories on Twitter. You want to read their stories. Again, Verizon, the then parent company of HuffPost, in 2015 for $4.4 billion part of an aggressive media buying strategy under former Verizon CEO Lowell McAdam. And now you know why he's former. In 2016, Verizon bought Yahoo. McAdams stepped down as CEO last year. HuffPost was co-founded by Ariana Huffington, who stepped down as editor-in-chief in 2016. She was replaced by former New York Times editor Lydia Paul Green, who did not respond to requests for comment. Folks, like I said, here's a company that saved billions of dollars that they got back thanks to Trump's tax incentives, and they're blowing off 800 employees. <laughs> well, it's, I think, an indicator of what's ahead, especially in the mainstream media. They're just all propaganda outlets, and all they do is regurgitate what one says, another says as well. Not a whole lot different than what I do. I just don't make any money. <laughs> I'll attach the link. Take a look at it. Pass it along to your like-minded friends.
Let me know what you think. You know what I think, don't you?